Hey everyone, I'm Mike Lowe, and this video is going to walk you through how to use Fangs Recruit Overhaul with the PlayStation 3. There are some videos for Xbox. This one will just focus on PS3. Very similar, but different. Left-hand side of the screen, you can see this is just my Dynasty file that I've already just copied from the PlayStation. I've already copied it off the USB. It's just on my desktop for now. And over here is another folder on my desktop that I have, which is just the tools that we will be using today. Uh, including Fangs Recruit Overhaul, but before that, Brute Force and Madden Extreme DB Editor. You can just do a simple Google search if you need to get these installed. There are some additional steps to get Brute Force up and working, but this is not the video for that. This will just assume that you're able to work through those. If not, it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the instructions, follow the readmes and things like that. So very, very first thing we want to do is open up Brute Force. And so this tool here is what we're going to be using to uh, get the save file on this window here, right, ready. And this is already loaded up, but what you'd wanna do if you needed to, you'd click this and you can load your file. Mine's already here, and I can see that it's the exact same file, it's on my desktop and so on. Uh, an important step that some people do miss, make sure you select the file, it should be highlighted blue. And once we do that, all we're gonna do is click on decrypt and decrypt all files. You say yes. This should turn green. That lets you know it's good to go. And you can just minimize that window for now. There's nothing else we need to do with that right now. Uh, let's go into Fang because we need to open up his README, right? And again, very, very important to see. Uh, and you'll want to read through all this, but I won't read this to you verbatim. Uh, what I'm looking at is just to remind myself which three files we need to go in and open up. Now, before we do that, there is a step that I, I don't know for sure uh, if you need to do this, but a lot of times with the database editors, you do need to go in here and change the extension on this file to MC02. Um, again, I don't know if you had to do that here, but it's not going to hurt anything if you do. Um, so do that after you decrypt the file. And then what we're going to do, we are going to go into the Madden Extreme database editor this time, and we are going to just simply open up our file. Uh, which is on my desktop. So we just got to get to that here. And once we load up here, we're going to open up that MC02 file. And then these are all of the different databases that are actually in your save, uh, your dynasty save, right? So again, we're going to go back here and look at the readme. And you'll want to, as I said before, I'm reiterating it, make sure you read these instructions. It will tell you everything you need to know. Uh, but specifically, I'm looking for RCPT rcpr and then the team uh, file there so we got this shared we can see this on the screen together and we're going to scroll through they're alphabetized but the lists will start over so like it, there's like you'll you'll understand what i mean when you kind of click through these but like there's it'll alphabetize and then it starts over with like new lists later on but we need this one here and what we're doing is we're exporting these by the way very important step you need to make sure that you are in the recruiting phase of your dynasty. More specifically, and I guess technically more important, you need to have already gone into your recruit board where it asks you if you wanna like create a new uh, a new recruit or, or anything like that. And you can do that or not, but the, the idea is that you load up recruiting for the first time so that it generates the actual player database. If you don't do that, some of these files we're exporting will be blank, right? We actually have here actual uh, players that the game has generated and all we're doing is taking these out so that uh, Fang's tool can interact with them and add in these different enhancements and so on, right? Um, so where I save these is I typically just save these into my NCAA folder. Um, they do need to go in here. Now I've already saved these, right? So just to kind of keep things simple, uh, but they do need to go into your Fang Recruit Overhaul folder. That's important. That's where the actual tool is going to look for these. So I've exported it. Let's just pretend I hit save. That's what you want to do. I'm going to hit cancel for here. And then the same thing, I go to RCPR, which is above that one. Let it load. And same exact thing, you're going to export. And again, you'd go and find that same exact folder uh, wherever you have Fang's recruit overhaul, right? So that's going to be there. And then you do the same thing for this TEAM one. I'll just show you where that one is here on the list. Um, Cause you can see here, it doesn't look like it's in this first alphabetized, right? There's a T-E-A-H, but if you're really, really careful, that's not the one you want. 
let's go down again and they'll kind of restart alphabetizing here. We want this one, T-E-A-M. And that's just the, the team database there. It's going to adjust some different things for the various teams and so on. So again, same thing, you'll export that. I won't show you here, uh, but you wanna get those three folders into your actual FANG uh, folder. I should say the three files, right? These CSV files you'll wanna have. So uh, we have those there. That's all we need the database for just now. And it's actually time to go in now and use the FANG tool, right? So. Uh, by the way, Madden Extreme Editor, it's part of the Fang Recruit download. It's actually in this folder here. Uh, all I've done, just to keep myself a little more organized, I just created a shortcut to it, right? So that we're only using these three tools. We've already used Brute Force. We're about to use record, the Recruit Overhaul, and we just used the Madden Extreme Database Editor. So it is time now to load this up. And as I mentioned before, it's really, really important that you're using uh, Office 365. It does need to be the offline version of it. As far as I can tell, I should say at least not the one, like the app version, right? The one that kind of runs off your desktop and not off of, uh, of their server or anything like that. If it's your first time using this tool, you're going to want to right click and go to properties. You will have a window down here. It's gone for me because I've already done it, but you're going to want to click and say, yeah, I trust this thing. This is, I'm not worried about it being a virus. You hit apply and okay. I've already done that, so I just need to open it. This file takes a little while to open, right? And you can see there, Office 365, right? It's gotta be Excel 365. If yours does not say this, stop and get that fixed. Um, there is a free trial. There's student versions of this. If you're a student, you can get it a little bit cheaper, uh, but it will not work if you're not using Excel 365. So um, as I said, this will take a little bit of time to uh, load up here. So let's uh, wait until that's finished loading and then we'll resume. Okay, so it has finished loading here. And the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is go over and select your team. Now, for the most of you, this is gonna be pretty straightforward. If you're in North Carolina, you pick North Carolina and so on. Um, if you've had a team that has been changed and say one of the revamped updates, uh, you're going to want to pick the original team. So for instance, uh, James Madison University, uh, you would want to select Florida International University because that's the team that the revamp team uh, used to replace and, and add in James Madison, right? So, um, but again, most teams, you're just going to be okay just picking the team you are. In this dynasty file, I'm using Nebraska. And what we're going to do is we're gonna load the CSV files, but understand this button will load them. So it's again, very, very important that you have your CSV files in this folder because that's where this tool is going to look. So assuming they're there, you're gonna click load and this doesn't take too long. It's gonna go through and uh, it's going to load in those CSV files. Eventually we'll get a window that pops up saying, hey, you might wanna check the yellow tabs on the bottom of this document just to make sure that these imported properly. And that's what this little window is here. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. If you want to hit OK, um, you can just hit OK and you can click through and you can look and see that, yep, looks like we got some data loaded in here. It looks good. Um, you know, if you're ever worried about the files not loading up right, this is a way that you can check all of these uh, three files that were loaded. But we're looking OK there. We're going to go back to the welcome page and we're ready to hit run. So we're gonna hit run. And again, it's gonna take a little bit of time here, but what this is doing is it is updating these files and creating new files that's going to give you all of these different elements plus more, plus all the stuff that was in version 2.0 and so on. Um, but basically it's going to give you CSV files that are going to enhance your dynasty file that we will eventually need to load in. And so it is now finished and it says your CSV files, there's four of them, have been put in your My Documents folder, right? So, okay, that's fine. So what do we need to do? Well, it tells us. You may now import them using the Madden Editor, right? So we're going to go back to the Madden Editor and we're going to go back and just look for the tabs that we need to load up. Like I remember the first one is P-I-N-T. And again, you just got to find where that's at. Um, so it's not here. Let's see, it's in another list here. So again, there's multiple lists of alphabetizing going on. Um, but once we find pint, we'll be able to get moving. 
Where is it at? There are a lot of these files, as you can see. I think it's right here somewhere, isn't it? There it is. Go okay, line 80 there. Okay, so we go here. Now there's some data here already. You can ignore that. I've already kind of tinkered with this file. Yours might be blank um, and, and that's okay. That's not gonna be a problem. Here we wanna go with CSV, but this time we're importing, right? Not exporting, we're importing, bringing it in. So this time we are going to go uh, to my documents. And once we do that, they are gonna be most likely here at the bottom. You're gonna click on the file, hit open, and then it's just gonna load it in. And you're gonna do that for all four of those files, right? So I think, uh, was this one of them or was this the first? Let me see what the other ones are here. Uh, so after P-I-N-T, it's R-C-P-R. Um, but we need this one too. So we can do R-C-P-T next. And then same thing. So R-C-P-T, that's now loaded in. I think this is the one that takes a little bit of time. This is a pretty big database here, this 96 line. So let that one go. But rest assured, we're going to do the same thing for RCPR that you can see here in the README and then RECB, which is up here. So they're all pretty close together. Once you find the first one pint, um, you'll find the others pretty quickly. And again, this one is a pretty big one. So we'll just let that load. Okay, so that has finished loading. We will do the RECB. and then the RCPR. And again, if you don't have data there or something like that, that's not a huge issue. Um, you're loading, you're replacing it all anyway, right? So it really doesn't matter if it's blank or has something there. Uh, next step's very, very important. You need to save the file. So this now saves that MT, um, sorry, MCO2 file. We're now done with the Madden editor. So you can actually close this. We're actually also done with Fang's recruiting overhaul. So you can go ahead and close that as well. <clears throat> and uh, we are now really just left with one last thing to do, which is we need to just get that file ready for your PlayStation again, which is super easy. We're gonna go back to the save file this time. We are going to do a long click on it and we're just gonna remove that extension. Are you sure you wanna change it? Yes. So that's now done. And the last thing we do is we go into brute force and all you have to do is just encrypt decrypted files. Said yes. And then that's going to put that file back to how it needs to be so that you can copy it back to your PlayStation 3. You're done with brute force. You're done with everything at this point. What I'm not showing you here, of course, is just you getting it back to your PlayStation. But all you should have to do now is load that file to, say, a flash drive, put the flash drive back in your PS3 copy the file from your PS or from the flash drive to your PS3 and then of course load up NCAA and you can load up that dynasty file. If you did everything right, it's going to work 100%. Uh, if, if you've tripped up, you may have, like if you have a corrupt file, you might've forgotten to take off that MCO2 extension. Uh, if you are loading it up and it's, it's freezing, odds are you didn't use say Office 365, but as long as you're following the steps here, it's going to work for you. So again, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, if you want some help with some other tools, let me know. I do have some other videos here on my channel that you can check out about loading up some different uh, apps and whatnot. And even if you're curious on my own house rules, um, I know Fang's got some nice house rules uh, that he's included in his README, uh, or sorry, not in the README, but if you go in here, he's got a whole thing of house rules. I have some too. Um, if you actually go into Google and just type in NCAA 14 house rules, uh, an article I wrote a few years ago is the number one thing that'll pop up on Google. Um, and you can go in there and look at some of the different things I'm doing. Uh, and I plan to actually update that with a video too of kind of what I'm doing now, two years later, while using the revamped tools and whatnot. So, but that's it, everyone. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. Thanks for subscribing. And I will talk to you next time.